ഹായ് കാമ്രേഡ്സ് യുവേഴ്സ് കെ വി എസ് ദർ ആർ ലാട്ട് ഓഫ് എക്സ്പെക്ടേഷൻസ് ഫ്രം ദ ഗവൺമെന്റ് അബൌട്ട് ദി ഗ്രാൻഡ് ഓഫ് നോഷൽ ഇൻക്രിമെന്റ് ടു ജൂൺ തേർട്ടി എത്ത് റിട്ടയറേസ് ബട്ട് അവർ ഡിസ്മേ ആൻഡ് അൺഫോർച്യുനേറ്റ് ദ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഹാസ് നോട്ട് ടേക്കൻ എനി ഡെസിഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ഡ്രീമൻ ആൾ ദ ഇൻഡിവിജുവൽസ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡിംഗ് ദി പെൻഷനേഴ്സ് ടു അപ്രോച്ച് ദി റെസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് കാഡ്സ് ഹൈക്കോർട്ട് ആൻഡ് ഈവൻ സംടൈം സുപ്രീം കോർട്ട് for getting justice in their case we have discussed a lot about the depth of the issue and we are very much concerned over the delay and also depressed over this inordinate delay and the jcm staff side also i am sorry to say this remains as a mute spectator in this serious issue there should be a serious concern it should be extended by the jcm staff side in mitigating these very serious issues agitating the mind of the pensioners as well as the employees in the standing committee meeting jcm held in september 2022 it was replied that based on the decision of the sidaraj the decision of ayyamburumal case will be implemented to all the situated person thereafter on 19/5 2023 the slp filed in the case of sidaraj have been dismissed by the supreme court subsequently humpteen number of judgments were delivered in various courts and even the curative petitions were dismissed with the directions to implement the same to the similarly situated person the principal cat delhi has given the directions not only to implement the applicants concern but also to implement to all the similarly situated persons in this case on 26 6 2023 the dopt informed that the issue is under consideration in consultation with the department of the expenditure on completion of the process action will be taken but there was no action after that also in the standing committee meeting held on 15 12 2023 the additional secretary informed that the issue is in an advanced stage of con- consideration and the dopt would take a decision in this regard very soon but no there is no movement subsequently in the last scoba meeting held on 22nd february 2024 it was replied after mentioning the court orders that there was no reference to the relevant fundamental rules governing to the annual increment so the case is once again to be referred to the supreme court for clarification but the case was earlier examined and the learned attorney general were consulted in pursuance thereof efforts are being to seek clarification from the supreme court on the relevant issues including the rule provisions which need elucidation action to implement the supreme court orders can be taken on completion of the said exercise this was the reply given in the scova meeting held on 22 february 2024 the intention of the government is very well known it wants to drag on the issue by seeking clarification from the supreme court and as well as the ministry of finance about the changes required in the fundamental rules it can be done by the government itself by issuing proper gazette notification it is not a cumbersome one and it can be done by the government itself in the meantime the railway board while its order dated 20th may 2024 clarified that in the case of individuals approaching the court in contempt cases orders can be treated as personam with the restriction of arrears for 3 years preceding the date of filing the case they have mentioned about an order passed by the supreme court during 2008 that is on 13 2008 that is restricted the arrears to 3 years from the date of writ petition and it not to have granted interest on arrears in such circumstances this is the comma they put it the railway has put the comma to restrict the arrears for 3 years this has been subsequently confirmed in various courts there are several judicial pronouncement in the madras central administrative tribunal in which also nowadays they are are delivering the judgments restricting the arrears for 3 years only in the meantime the third review petition filed by the government in the case of cp mundina mani in civil appeal 2471 of 2023 was summarily rejected on 317 2024 and closed the case 
that is the third review petition filed in the supreme court in the case of mundina mani there are two cases one mundina mani and second is the siddara these two cases are very important so far these the government is uh, prolonging and protracting this issue after this railway board by its order dated 21st august 2024 clarified that the cases are in personam basis only and not applicable to all the payment of arrears would be restricted only to 3 years preceding the date of filing the case but again in the slp review petition in the case of siddaraj in slp 4722 of 2021 as passed on entry order on 692024 the earlier decision in the same case was diluted and the entry orders passed on 692024 accordingly the decision dated 11 4 on grant of notional increment will be given effect to third parties from the date of judgment that is one increment will be payable on or after 1 5 kindly make note of it what is the exact content of the entry orders we are informed that a large number of fresh writs petitions have been filed to prevent any further litigation and confusion by an entry order we direct that the judgment dated 11 4 will be given effect to in case of third parties from the date of judgment that is the pension by taking into account one increment will be payable on or after 1 5 enhanced pension for the period prior to 31 4 will not be paid as per my knowledge is concerned it can be inferred that the decision is applicable to all the similarly situated officials to prevent further litigation and confusion why because they are mentioning the third party who are the third parties the third party will be the similarly situated persons who are agitating before the court again and again one after another because they are mentioning there are several writ petitions have been filed and to prevent this they are passing this order so in order to prevent prevent the writ petitions and court cases they are passing the judgment that is applicable for the third party which means that all the officials whether they have approached the court or not they are entitled for the notional increment with effect from 15 2023 I am of the opinion that it is applicable to all and this was issued to prevent further litigations. The enhanced pension prior to 31-4-2023 will not be paid. For those succeed in the repetition, matter will not be reopened. Enhanced pension would have been paid to them. This will not be applied in the cases already filed where not attained the finality in the course. In the case of retired employees, if beneficial orders have already been passed the enhanced pension will be payable from the month of the case filed by them it will not affect the enhanced pension and arrears if any paid already this is the crux of the judgment according to the judgment as per my inference and also i am of the very firm opinion that it should be applied to all the similarly situated person with effect from 15 2023 those who have already succeeded in the writ petition their matter should not be reopened whatever amount paid that is that should be treated as paid only and that should not be taken into account suppose some cases are pending which have not reached the final um, stage in such cases this order can be implemented and also whatever be the amount earlier paid that need not be recovered and that should not be reopened once again the case is again listed on 4 11 again november 2024 that is on 4th the case is again listed the government is attempting again and again to get a negative judgment from the apex court to deny the dues as well as arrears now the madras court in many ways like 310 of 2024 which allowed arrears from the date of eligibility as restricted to pay arrears without interest for a period of 3 years just before the date of filing the oa we can very well know the cruelty of the government 
they want to deny on one plea or other we should mount pressure to the government the jcm staff side should explore the possibility and you should approach the government immediately to implement the positive side in the judgment to implement with effect from 15 2023 to the similarly situated officials at least immediately without opposing or agitating against that instruction this is my prayer to the jcm staff side comrade i do not know whether i am correct or wrong but this is as per my knowledge with effect from 15 2023 these as per the supreme court interim orders payment should be made that is the notional increment should be made to those completed 12 months of service at the time of retirement and the case as he is having some a uh, new leaf that is the notional increment if granted from 15 2023 at least it will be a solace for the people who are retiring from 15 2023 for the earlier people who have retired prior to 15 2023 it should be fought again and the arrears should be drawn to them and paid to them from the date of their superannuation it is the right that cannot be restricted by citing some old judgment or in some other cases it should be paid to them but otherwise there will be a discrimination that which is against the provision of the article 14 of the constitution there should be no discrimination between the two equals the people who have retired and they got the benefit and the people who are retiring thereafter and agitating thereafter they should they are being denied means that is bad before law so i am requesting the leaders with my folded hands please take up this issue very seriously and you kindly make immediate arrangement for issue of an order giving effect from 15 2023 to all those similarly situated persons completing 12 months after their previous increment with this i am concluding thank you very much comrade meet again